Hello people of the world. Today we are crossing one of the highest passes in the world, Taklangla at 17,482 feet. From this height we want to send an urgent SOS message to the world leaders and citizens. We, the tribal indigenous people of Ladakh, are on a climate march of 30 days covering 1,000 kilometers, crossing some of the highest passes, snowy mountains and treacherous treks. As we go along, we want to draw your attention by sharing our story of impacts of climate change on the fragile ecologies of high Himalayas. Well, talking of climate change, the weather on these high passes change every 10 minutes. It's now snowing as we descend. Now, in these high Himalayas, our glaciers, you can see there, are melting very fast, leaving behind flash floods and droughts. These glaciers are our lifelines and they are going away and soon we will become climate refugees. Therefore, we want to make two appeals to the people of the world and the leaders of the world from the heights of this pass. Firstly, a local appeal to the Prime Minister of India to please safeguard these fragile ecosystems of the high Himalayas under the sixth schedule of the Indian constitution, thereby giving the right to take stewardship of these ecosystems to the local indigenous people. Our second appeal is a global appeal to the world leaders and citizens of the world to please cut down on carbon emissions as urgently as possible because we have very little time left. Here I have a climate clock prepared by the best scientists in the world and we have less than five years left before things go irreversible and out of control. Only five years or less and yet our heads of state, when they set their targets for carbon neutrality, if we see on this list, it's less than what needs to be done. I'm sad to see that China and my own country, India, the two giants on this planet, have targets that are way beyond what is necessary. So we want to appeal to the world leaders and the citizens to please reconsider these targets to more urgent timelines like Finland has done. And to all the journalists, social media, citizen journalists, we appeal to you to please take this message to every person in your circles and every country on this planet so that it finally reaches the head of state of all the countries on the planet. Thank you very much.